Welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home! Somebody just blasted the pants whistle in here. <laughs> Woo! And I'm going over to today's science file. And today's science file says... Why do air fresheners only seem to work for a short period of time? Well, that's a question that we can test. So, go ahead and try this! You will need your nose and two different smells. Okay, first up, you are gonna get yourself a stinky smell. Oh, come on. That's like the second time today, dude. No more magical fruit for you, buddy. Yeah, you. Okay, get yourself a stinky smell, like a can of fish, your dog, or a smelly gym sign. I'm gonna use pepper. I mean, uh, garlic. Ah, smells like pizza. <laughs> now, you're gonna wanna get yourself something that smells great, like flowers, cologne, or a freshly baked pumpkin pie. Ah, uh, I'm gonna use cinnamon. Ah, not only does cinnamon smell great, but uh, <laughs> she's a great dancer. First, get your bad smell. <laughs> Okay, grab your smell. Take the stinky smell and you're gonna smell it for about 30 seconds. Here we go! Okay, while you're sniffing the stinky smell, introduce the good smell and sniff. Whoa, I can only smell the cinnamon. So how come I can only smell the cinnamon? Well, don't sniff me. Take a sniff at this. After the epithelial cells have been stimulated by a molecular signal for a period of time, they begin to adapt to that specific molecular signal. And temporarily, you lose the ability to tell the difference between that specific signal and another molecular signal. Just like when you sniff the two different odors at the same time, your epithelial cells adapted to the stinky odor and then detected the new pleasant odor. After a period of time, you'll regain the ability to detect the lost odor, which is why air fresheners only seem to work for a short period of time, and then we smell the odor in the room again. Olfactory fatigue is very important to our survival. For example, if you could only smell the odor of cooking food, then left the kitchen, you wouldn't be able to smell a possible fire. So now you know that smells never really go away. You know, having a fatigue of the olfaction reaction <laughs> is why science is so cool. Ah. <sighs>